In this video, we're going to be looking at pace practice. Being able to control the position of the white is a vital part of the game. To do that, we need to pot the ball, work out the path of the cue ball, and then judge the pace. It's also important to point out, before looking at any of these drills, that the quality of the cloth, cushions and the balls will have a big impact on pace, so it's really something you need to develop a feel for and be able to adjust on different tables. For these practice routines, I've broken things down into three distinct aspects of judging pace. This first drill is all about just controlling the pace of the cue ball on its own. The object is to place the ball in the centre on the line and then play straight down the table, trying to get the ball as close to the top cushion as possible. You should aim to be within about six inches of the cushion, either on the way in or the way out, before moving on to the next one. Once you've done that, then you adjust the pace and try to get the cue ball back up as close to the top cushion as possible. In each attempt, keep going until you're within about six inches before moving on to make sure that you have a really good feel for that pace. This is a really good drill that you can do quickly before a match on a table that you might not have played on before, and it helps give you a feel for the speed of the cloth and the cushions before starting the game. You then move on to the third cushion, so off the bottom, top, and then back down to the bottom again. It's important on these harder shots to still focus on straight cueing and staying down as long as you can whilst obviously getting out of the way when the ball comes back. Once you do that, then the final one is four cushions. This is probably about the limit of how hard you're ever likely to hit the ball. And again, be careful not to let it become a wild swing, keeping controlled whilst delivering the cue with more power. This next routine focuses on the pace of the ball after impacting an object ball. Once the cue ball strikes the object ball at an angle, it loses some of its pace and the path of the ball is changed, so it's important to be able to judge that pace after impact. The idea is to place the red on the black ball spot and then the cue ball about a quarter of the way across the table on the centre line. This then gives us a nice angle down into the bottom cushion. For the first shot, the aim is to end up tight on the bottom cushion. We then play with slightly more pace each time, trying to end up in line with the yellows over on the left. All of the shots in this drill are played with top spin, but with varying degrees of pace. Try to end up within a few inches of each line before you move on to the next one, so that you really develop a sense of touch and how much to increase the pace each time. The last few balls are placed a little further apart because the further you're getting the cue ball to travel, the harder it is to judge the precise pace. You may also find that the increased power, together with the top spin, alters the angle of the cue ball into the cushion, so the path up to the top will be slightly different as you go. This last routine is all about judging the pace when playing with varying degrees of topspin and screw back in a straight line. You set out some yellow balls in a diagonal line parallel from one corner to the other. You then place the red ball in the centre and then the cue ball one yellow ball back. The object is then to pot the red into the corner with the cue ball ending up in line with each yellow. For the first shot, try to play a firm topspin shot and follow through into the corner pocket. Then we play again with full topspin, but slightly less power to end up in line with the first ball. For the second ball, it's again full topspin, but with a little less power again. The third ball is still full topspin, but a fairly soft pace so that we don't travel too far. By the time we get to the fourth ball, we can play plain ball and just let the cue ball roll on a couple of inches. The fifth ball is a stun shot to stop the cue ball, so it needs to be played a little bit firmer. 
For the next ball, we're screwing back about six inches, so a little lower down on the ball, but not too much pace. The last ball is about 12 inches back, so full screw back, but again, still not too much pace. Finally, we screw back to the cushion, so full screw back and more pace. Hopefully these three drills will give you a sense of feel for controlling the pace of the cue ball in different situations. And together with some of the information in my other videos about working out the path of the cue ball and positional play, you'll be able to put the cue ball exactly where you want it. If you want to see more practice routines and pull tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.